Hello, and welcome to the first tutorial video designed to help you use and understand MEGA. In this video, we will cover what exactly MEGA is and how it can be used to help taxonomic classification of microbial genomes, isolate genomes, and genome bins reconstructed from metagenomes. To start, MEGA stands for Microbial Genomes Atlas and is designed to be the genome equivalent of projects like the RDP and SILVA and provide data and tools to classify and catalog microbial genomes. MEGA also allows one to perform gene diversity analysis of his or her genome sequence against all publicly available reference genomes. MEGA can take in a variety of inputs such as raw, unassembled reads, assembled isolate genomes, metagenome assembled genomes, or MAGs, and single cell amplified genomes, or SAGs. MEGA uses a combination of the Genome Aggregate Average Nucleotide Identity Concept, or ANI, and the Average Amino Acid Identity, AAI, to taxonomically classify a query genomic sequence against the genome sequences in its reference databases. Part of MEGA's strength lies in the 10,000 reference genomes that make up its database and an efficient heuristic algorithm to search the query genome against all these genomes. The reference database is regularly updated and improved with minimal downtime. This ensures consistently improved accuracy of classification without a large impact to its users. MEGA also follows best practices in genomic analyses for data quality checking and trimming, assembly and functional gene content calling, and annotation. The query genomes can be searched against the NCBI's RefSeq and Prokaryotic Genomes databases for classification or can be used as input for a clade project. The difference between and use cases for these different analyses are covered in subsequent video tutorials. Users may also choose to explore an expanding collection of environmental isolate genome and MAG sequences which can be used by beginners to familiarize themselves with the inner workings of MEGA before submitting their own sequences or by microbial ecologists interested in specific environments. Although MEGA includes a powerful classification scheme, it is also meant to act as a robust database for a growing number of genomes of uncultivated microbes using binning or single cell techniques. The overarching goal is for this database to act as a communal space for analysis and exploration of these known and unclassified genomes and allow users to answer questions such as, one, has my genome or single cell been found previously in another sample or habitat? Two, what is the closest relative and likely taxonomic affiliation of my query genome against species represented by isolates or previously identified uncultivated taxa? Three, what sequence and gene content distinguish my query genome from previously described taxa? And four, can I perform a high resolution phylogenetic and gene content analysis of my collection of genome sequences including draft genomes and SAGs. In accompanying videos, we will dive more in depth on the use and understanding of results in MEGA.